As a teacher with a background in education, I think I've created the ultimate prompt to learn Python. And in this video, if you're interested, I'm gonna be sharing that with you. I'm a PE teacher who's never coded before. And I'm gonna be starting a 60 day challenge where I try to learn Python using only ChatGPT. Okay, so a little bit about me. I am a father, I'm a husband. And part of this whole thing is I'm wanting to build a better future for my family. And the way that I want to do that is eventually I want to have a business that builds an AI automation that solves a real problem for teachers. But before I can even get to the AI automation part, I need to actually learn some code, which is why I want to learn Python. So the first thing I did was I started searching for some courses to learn Python and I started looking up some coding boot camps. When I was searching through the coding boot camps, I noticed first of all that they're really expensive and second of all, uh, you have to travel away for a lot of them. And in my situation, that's just, yeah, it's not really ideal. So I started sitting around and I was thinking, why don't I just test and see if I can learn Python using ChatGPT for free. And I thought this would actually make a really cool idea for a video, because as a teacher, we're getting told every year that eventually teachers are gonna be obsolete because of AI and its capabilities in the future. So I thought, instead of waiting till then, why don't we just test it now? And what I'm gonna be doing eventually in my next video series is learning Python and then commenting on what I think of ChatGPT's teaching ability. If you're interested, that's gonna be in my next video series. I'll be starting the 60 day challenge. So the first problem that people are gonna come across when they're trying to learn Python using ChatGPT, the very first problem is going to be how they prompt ChatGPT. Now, if you don't prompt ChatGPT well, then you're going to fail your coding before you even start. So taking this whole thing from the perspective of a teacher, I've had a real think about how I want to prompt ChatGPT to create this course. And I'm gonna talk about the problems and how I've created solutions using my prompt. So the first problem is the prompts are going to be way too general. And I'm gonna use a quick analogy to try and explain this point. So imagine you're getting your dream house painted by this amazing painter. And he asks you, what does your dream house look like? And you say to him, my dream house looks absolutely amazing and it's sick and everyone's gonna love it. And he sort of looks at you and he's waiting for you to give more instructions and you just sort of smile and you're like, yeah, that's, that's it. That's drawing. And the first thing you're gonna notice is that he's not drawing your dream house. And the reason for that is because you didn't give him enough instructions. If you just said your house is amazing and sick, how is the painter supposed to know whether it's two story, one story, how large it is, what color it is, what, uh, how many kitchens, how many bedrooms? So what you need to do when you want someone to draw your dream house is be as specific as possible. And the main point here when writing your prompt is to be specific. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is ChatGPT is gonna fill in the gaps that you don't fill in, and it's gonna give you a course that is going to miss out on some of the things that you're looking for. Now, this leads into my second problem. The second problem is and this annual prompt is too general, ChatGPT is going to give you a course that focuses mainly on memory and memorization. Now, the problem with memorization is that it's not learning. You can remember something, and that doesn't mean that you can explain what it is. So what I've done from the angle of a teacher is I've really thought about learning strategies. How are we going to learn coding? And so what I've done is I've gone away, I've done a bit of research, and I've come back with evidence-based learning strategies. And I've put 10 of them into my prompt. Now, what's an evidence-based learning strategy? An evidence-based learning strategy is a strategy that has been tested in the class, 
and has been proven to be the most effective when it comes to learning. So I've taken those evidence-based learning strategies and I've asked ChatGPT to use those strategies when it's teaching you to code. So those are the two main problems from a teacher's perspective and those are the two main problems I solve with my prompt, which I'm now going to share with you and I'm not gonna read it out and I'm not, I'm not gonna waste your life reading out this entire prompt. So what I've done is I've shared that prompt down in the description. You can just go down there right now, copy and paste it straight into ChatGPT and you can start the Python challenge with me. Or you can actually just, if you're not interested in learning Python, just forget about the Python, take those learning strategies and choose a topic that you want to learn about and combine them and go off and learn that. A huge part of this video series is about trying to, um, trying to, trying to learn something new. You know, it's so easy to get to this point in your life, and we just consume. We just, we just, uh, you know, we stop learning. So, if you can take anything away from this video, whether you join the challenge or not, I just, I hope after you watch this video, you decide to learn something that you're interested in. So what I'm gonna do in the next part of the video is I'm gonna show you the prompt and then I'm gonna compare that prompt against a more general prompt, just so that you guys can see the difference. So I'm now gonna compare my ultimate prompt against the general prompt. And if I go down here, I can already see there's a lot more information. And then as I go down even further to my first lesson, you can see that it's put in the 10 evidence-based strategies. It's more information, Concrete examples, real world analogy, dual coding, clear code examples, breakdown, retrievable practice exercises, elaboration task, interleaving, bonus challenges, and then a professor style summary at the end. And then common mistakes and fixes. So you can already see here guys that this has everything that you need to learn, or at least to learn. And then over here you can see the difference between the general one and the ultimate one that I made and you can see that it's just lacking so much more information and it's really missing those learning based strategies and it's like i said far more general so that you guys can see the difference if you enjoyed this video and you felt like i didn't waste your life and your time then please give me a like and if you're interested in following the journey the 60 day challenge and then beyond that then please subscribe to the channel and like I said this video is about encouraging you to go out there and just find something that you want to learn and do it it doesn't have to be Python I'm going to ask you guys if you think I'll succeed leave your comments in the comments section and day one's going to be starting tomorrow so wish me luck peace